You can do that. Yeah. Well, too, they do that because if you're. At home. Welcome back. It's uh, that was pretty quick. We got yeah. the cantina bill, and now we're doing this bad boy. This is the what is this, Josh? The grand piano. The grand piano. Officially, it's set number two one three two three. Has three thousand six hundred and sixty two pieces. That is a mm. big boy. And how much did this thing cost, Josh? The same as the cantina, which the cantina is three hundred fifty dollars. Three hundred and fifty bucks. So this is a baby grand piano, and what's cool about this is that we actually have a baby grand in our home. Uh, my wife Mindy brought that into our relationship, and we love having that in our house. Uh, she plays the piano, and so do you, right, Josh? Yeah. What we will do, of course, is uh, we'll do a time-lapse build of this thing, uh, a quick review, and it's been out for a while. This is not a new set. It came out last year in uh, 2020, uh, but regardless, we'll still do our little review. Have you yeah. give your thoughts on it? Make sure mom gives her uh, thoughts on it. We'll make sure that's mandatory. She's not getting out of this one because we want to know her thoughts as well. Uh, we got to find a spot for it. Probably in the piano room. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how that looks and works out. All right, Josh, you ready to get this thing going? Yeah. Let's do it. And we are back, and as you can see here, I have a full crew to talk about the experience of building this thing. Uh, Josh obviously ended up doing most of the build. I started it off, but you just kind of took off with it. Mm -hmm. And I've got the lovely Mindy here to also talk about her thoughts about the piano because she is a real pianist, because she has a real baby grand downstairs, right? Yes, it is a baby grand. Yeah, we got that right so far. What a great review this is. <laughs> so, Josh, you started, well, you basically built this thing. What was the build like, man? It was pretty fun. There were some parts that felt like slow and some parts that went by really fast. And yeah, it's pretty fun. Let's talk about the functions of this thing. What does this piano do other than look like a big piano? Um, so, there are keys in the front that you can play with. And, um,. It actually does move the um, things back here too. Like it's kind of like a real piano. What are these things called in the back? What are these called, hon? The hammers. The hammers. So if you click on this thing, and these are hammers in the back. Yeah. So first of all, this thing does completely come. You know, it closes up, right? So you close the sheet music. How do you close that, Josh? Yeah, just back. <laughs> Woo! Like that. There it is. And I like that it rolls around nicely too. It's got these little wheels on the bottom. Yeah. Like a real piano, right? Yes, that is nice. First off, this comes up right here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like and a then, real piano. Like a real piano. And then it only has just this one whatever, right? But you could probably just take this off and it'll be small like that, right? You can do that. Yeah. Too, well, they do that because if you're a com <laughs> If you're accompanying someone, you don't want the the piano lid open all the way because it'll drown out the sound. So depending so on where you are. That's you how you turn up the volume. So it's like. <laughs> 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 
Is that yes, right? Yes, I guess in a really lame, <laughs> nerdy way. That's how you turn up the that's, volume. <laughs> that's me, lame and nerdy. <laughs> All right, so anyway, that didn't work. Uh, well, it's got a I little tech. There, there it goes. Now it's not going to fall. Yeah, so that's like how you would prop the piano lid. There's a couple of lid. You, Crap, I don't even know. You don't know? <laughs> <gasps> okay, now we. Okay, there we go. All right, so then it's got this sheet music comes in. It's, it says uh, Play Day by Donnie Chen. That's the only thing we get for, yeah. for like sheet music, right? So uh, if you want to put your piano away, you have to have this somewhere else. I don't know, you can probably throw it inside there. And uh, lifting this thing up, it, it just works and looks so smoothly. And I love that I have that little Lego logo in there. Yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of different different brands of piano, I guess, right? There are, I have a K-Koi, it's a, a baby grand, so it's only five feet, wow. five inches. And this a grand is classically five feet feet seven inches that's that's the only difference yes that's like nothing man i know but well and then like an amazing grand piano is like nine feet so. oh an amazing grand like like a, an awesome one like that you want to awesome be playing grand. in carnegie hall <laughs> yes i have an awesome grand piano <laughs> it's it's a 15 feet <laughs> so does this thing actually work can you click on this and play and you hear music coming from it yes you can what are you serious? Yes. Oh, okay. If you have your little app. You have the powered up app. You click on your piano and you have two options. You can click play or listen. So if you click on listen, uh, you do have to connect to it via Bluetooth. Great. How do we turn this thing on, Let's Josh? Let's play Claire de Lune because that's my, de Lune. one of my favorites. Okay. We got to turn I it on. I love WC. Okay. Oh, we'll yeah, do that, um, honey. This thing right here. You can hold it uh, and it comes out like that. It's pretty cool. It's cool. It gives you directly to this little thing. Okay, all right, so then I'm gonna click on here. I wanna connect, so you push the button. My phone is slowly connecting. Oh yeah, it's go. connected. Yay! Right. Okay, There's a connected. little blue light that goes on when it's connected. Yeah. Yes, all right. This is my first set that's a powered up set. All right, honey, what were we listening to? We can, let's do Claire de Lune. It's not such a lively song. My phone's not very loud though. Oh. That's a really slow song. Okay, sorry, pick another one. Gosh darn okay. it. And in my observation, and this is no criticism of the creator at all, because I've read the some of the book about oh, yeah, Donnie Chen, yeah, and uh -huh. he is, I have no criticism of that, but if you are a pianist and you buy this piano and you go to play it, just know that when you play the middle C, it's not a middle C. It's not an on-demand key thing. Does that make sense? When I play this note, it's not going to go, it's not gonna be the same note every time. Oh yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, it's the same pattern okay. no matter what you're playing, right? Yes, the same, so the same, same pattern. Um, and the same thing when you're playing it, uh, it's going to play the melody, it's going to play what the song is doing, not what keys you're hitting, if that makes sense. Oh, so yeah. it looks cute, but no. it's not. Yeah, so Which, if you want to play, again, yeah. have you no, have play option, no criticism. And you want to play jingle bells, right? Yeah. So you go. So it doesn't matter what key you're hitting, it just does the next note. Right. So you can look really cool. I broke the key. Uh, <laughs> I broke the key. Josh is all like uh, frustrated. Oh, it's fixed. See, I fixed it. <laughs> it's all good. All right. Yeah. I knew that, I, that was a little too hard. All right. Anyway, let's move on from the uh, from that. Um, yeah, from that. That function. Yeah. Obviously, there's not as much, much keys as there is obviously. Yeah. But it does have um, one pedal that works. That is the what is it called? This one that brings up the the hammers. Oh. uh... Oh, there, there's like a, a pedal that... That's uh, the gas pedal. Yeah. <laughs> the the gas middle's the brake, yeah. and the left is the clutch. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. So, oh, oh, we broke the clutch. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hand me the book, hand me the book. Oh, get to the book, get the book, get the book. I just have to say, I was reading this, and one of the things that is in here is... Um, it's Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. If you don't know who that is, then you were not an English major, but it says music is the universal language of mankind. I disagree. I believe that math is the universal language. 
So that's my only mm -hmm. disagreement with this. Well, Josh seems to agree. As a finance major, I am going to also agree with that, but I'm <laughs> guessing some people might disagree with that. I mean, everyone loves music. Everyone has their type of music they love. Mm -hmm. But math is boring, boring and straightforward. So. That is not boring. <laughs> that is very exciting what you guys are talking about. Anyway, uh, but yeah, the, the instruction booklet, since you brought that up, it does have some cool stuff about the creator. Uh, I guess it's cool. I don't know. If you're really into music, I guess this is interesting uh, stuff. Meet the maestro, uh, Donnie Chen. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of cool information about the design. And like Mindy pointed out, there's a lot of quotes. Uh, these are from <laughs> actual, uh, what do you call them? Music people. <laughs> <laughs> What's that Beethoven guy? Adult fans of music. <laughs> Adult fans of music. A foms. A foms. Yeah, A foms and A foms here, guys. Oh yeah. Uh, now, now it's not just the piano that has all these cool functions in it, but the seat does as well. The Obviously. most amazing part. If you can adjust it. Yeah, which is what you want when you play Blows the piano. My mind. There's like a certain yeah. position, a certain angle that you want to be with the keyboard. So it's nice that the bench, when a bench is adjustable. So you don't have to sit on a, a phone book. A phone book? <laughs> that was me, as I was learning how to drive, too. No. Thank goodness for phone books, right? <laughs> and what, a lot of people are now like, what are phone books? I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what's cool is that your smartphone does go up here, so it looks like when it's playing, you know, it looks like there's actual sheet music uh, going along with it as it's playing. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know what? Show them the cool trick. Like, show them how easy it is to pull out the keys. Uh, I want I want to see this demonstrated. Okay. Pull oh, those yeah. out. Yeah. Got to kind of try to face it. That, that way comes too. out really easy, like yeah. like a. a tr that actually does happen with a real piano too. Like I can take my, um, I have what's that called, the cover. <laughs> the, the hood. I, I, yes, I the can. hood of the car is what I would call it. The hood of the piano. Yes, I can take it off easily. It just that way it's easy to get okay. to to tune yeah. and to clean so it. You take this out. Whoa, slide it. cool. That is the cool part of the piano. That is the inner workings. That this is, is really just cool. this is just a box, and then inside uh, we can see. Yeah, you can see uh, the little like axle that turns. Yeah, it's really turn. cool, really cool. All different colors go. You know what, Josh? You do it since you built it. Okay. I'm gonna leave, leave this to the professionals. As I oh. break it. <laughs> yeah. So. And this is just my observation, and I, I know that it's something that's functional. So, again, this is not a criticism, but. It's not exact, like it's not like, uh, I mean, like this is straight. It's always gonna be straight, but the keys don't unnecessarily sit straight. And, right. Very crooked. And it's, yeah. Very crooked and on my teeth. Again, it's not like and, and they a do stick. criticism, um, but it's, it's. Yeah, if you're OCD with the keys being straight, it's gonna drive you crazy. Yeah. Uh, because you're like, oh, stay straight. And it may be the, you know, who, who built it. <laughs> and I mean, they can stick sometimes like like that, like they, they stick together. But you push one down, they don't come. <laughs> but let's let's ask the viewers, like, put it, uh, put a comment in the in the, the comment section below if you have this set and if you have the same problem. Yeah, maybe um, we just. Maybe we didn't do it. Built right. it too quickly because <laughs> we were too excited. Yeah, too excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. No, it's not your fault. But yeah, very expensive set. But uh, a lot of people told me like, Alex, you gotta get the piano. It's so worth it. It's and really I was, cool. I was really on the fence a long time, and uh, I just saw it there one day, Josh, right? And he just said, mm -hmm. you know what? It's time to get the piano. <laughs> Funny story. So Christmas morning, um, Alex is like, I have a big surprise for you, and he brings down this box that's about this big, and yeah. you oh, know, yeah. uh -huh. like I was like, oh, that's the Lego piano, like in my mind. And I unwrapped it, and it said, you know, foodie on it. And, um, and I was like, oh, it's a ninja, food a food ninja. Is that what it's called? I think so, yeah. I think it's anyway. Ninja. And I'm like, oh, it's the piano, but it's inside the box. So <laughs> I literally had to open the box for him to prove to me that it wasn't, it wasn't the piano. <laughs> and I was, like, a little bit disappointed. Oh, but you were? But it was, yeah, I don't know. Everyone has their disappointments on Christmas morning. But so. you got it eventually. Oh, yeah. I've had my fair share. Oh, I know. But that's okay. But, yeah. Very cool. All right, so but now this is the part. I, I think we're ready now mm. to put this. Now, when we place this, this is not going in the basement. This is not going in the office. I think this really needs to go in the piano room, right? With the yeah. piano. With the other piano. Unfortunately, my piano is also black, Very black. so yes. it does kind of. Mm -hmm. it, we blend might not in. even see it. So, but we're, <laughs> I think I can't think of any other place to put it. So maybe there's a, a another place or a table we can put it on uh, to make it look good, but. Uh, let's go ahead and should we do that now? Let's do it. All right. All right. So here is the office, and, and no, it's it's not in the office. Uh, it's over here. 
in the piano room, or I don't know what you call this. I think this is actually the dining room, but we use it for our piano, right, Honey Buns? <laughs> it's the piano room. It is the piano room, yeah. So here is the ebony piano, and there is the ebony grand, Lego grand piano, and uh, we got this little, what do you call that thing? Uh, a mini rug. A mini, <laughs> a mini rug to help it pop a little bit because it just it just kind of drowned out because yeah. they're the same color, right? Yeah. Yeah. Color. So anyway, that's it for now. I, th I like it there. It looks pretty good. Yeah. You know, right now, it can sit and collect dust like my piano does. Oh, but yes. This is out of the reach of little fingers. Yes. The, like this to... will get dusty. Absolutely. In fact, yeah. that being the case, we'll probably end up closing it because just to keep dust out of the inside because otherwise it'll probably look like the keys inside this thing. A little <laughs> dusty, right? Hey. <laughs> hey, sorry. Yeah. Well, anyway. All right. Well, thanks for being part of that review. That was yeah. great. And That's pretty what, fun. One nice thing about the, the Lego piano is you don't have to tune it. Oh, that's right. You don't have to tune it. Hey, you know what? What? You can uh, tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> I love it. Dad jokes. You know you love it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and let us know what you guys think of the Lego Grand Piano. Pretty cool set. I like it. And uh, that's where it's going to be uh, for a little longer. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you next time.